Hello, my name is Finimus, and in this video we are going to be learning how to create a form element. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. You can build web forms that actively submit data to a server using nothing more than pure HTML. You can do this by specifying an action on your form element. For example, form action equals forward slash URL where you want to submit form data, form close tag, open and close tag. Nest the existing input element inside a form element and assign this website to the action attribute of the form element. So if this sounds like foreign language to you, you are not alone. I read this and I feel confused. But what we're going to do is scroll down to the objectives of this challenge and we're going to break it down individually and we'll take it slowly. The existing input element, it's right here, should be nested within a form element. Okay. So for nesting, it means we're just going to put on the outside what we want to create. We want to create a form element. So come back up here to the example. Example code is great. It's easy enough to just read. And you're just going to put form and then on the... It's supposed to be closed but you're also supposed to put the action inside. So okay we'll continue action equals and we'll put just forward slash URL. Well, let's actually use the, the URL there they're asking us to use and that's this URL right here freecat photo app dot com submit cat photo so we're just going to copy this. I'm not exactly sure if that's correct, but I'm going to go with it for now. And then we'll go back down to the objectives here. So we're still on nesting. So underneath input type, you're going to want to put form. So forward slash form, and this just closes the form. Now you can see there's a problem here. And the problem is that the form no longer shows up. And that's okay, because we're learning, I'm learning, like I've said. So you have, excuse me, form action equals URL and okay so let's close that off the form you know text form area comes back but now I'm curious if it's nested and I believe it is because I still see this so URL where you want to submit data we got that okay your form should have an action attribute it's this which is set to this website here which we did okay so good job so far 
your form element should have well formed open and close tags. So we have this is the open and this is the close. I really like having spaces between like different little groups of elements, you could call it. But every every time you go to a new test, it's going to redo this whole code input area. So I'll do do what I can. So I believe this is correct. We nested the input inside of the form and we have the correct website let's see it's open and closed let's create a form element so we're gonna run the test and see what happens and it looks like as if that was correct so shiver me timbers good job everybody let's go to the outro <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments down below. I am Findimus, and I will see you later, and I hope you all have a great day.